Hi world and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about vibe coding, one of the hottest topics on the internet today. And I'm going to explain to you exactly what that is and how you can get started in the next few minutes. Vibe coding is essentially when you stop thinking like a machine and start thinking like an artist. It's the ability to take a very simple text prompt and turn it into a fully functional software or website or even a mobile app. And I have been vibe coding for the last couple of months and the things that I've been able to create were never humanly possible without a developer. The beauty of vibe coding is that the AI does all of the coding and all you have to do is bring the vibes and what I mean by that is designing the aesthetic and the fonts and the tone and the mood literally just curating the vibe for this software or this website or this app and the AI does all of the coding I've honestly tried so many different vibe coding platforms on the market and I would say the best ones are definitely lovable or replit or bolts.new and I take the exact same prompt and typed it into all of them to see and compare which one gave me the best results and buy a landslide lovable.dev is definitely the way to go. The beauty of lovable is the programs that it creates are fully functional, meaning it doesn't just give you a picture of what it would look like. You can actually click through the websites, log in with accounts, and it's just 100% usable. And so I'm going to show you an example of just how fast and easy it is to vibe code right now. As many of you know, I am the founder of GetEducated.ai, which is an AI education platform for creators and entrepreneurs, where we offer courses, community, membership access, and access to tools and resources, everything that has to do with AI. And before I actually built the platform myself, I went to Lovable to vibe code the platform and what it would look like. And this is exactly what it had created for me. Check this out. So on the left here is where you put in your prompts, and this is what I had written. And then on the right here is where it shows you the output for the program or software that you're creating. And every time you want to create changes, you just add more feedback on the left. So check this out. This is on the right, AI Educate. You have the courses, which look like this. You have the community where people can have discussions and comments and threads. Then you have the AI deals, which give you access to discounts for AI softwares that are only available to platform holders. And then you have the resources, which is things like the blog, the guides and tutorials, templates, eBooks, videos, podcasts. As you can see, it's extremely comprehensive. And I really love the way that they created this whole thing. Now check this out. This is back to the homepage. You can see that everything here has been organized by category. Then you have your featured AI courses and you have your community discussion where people can engage. Honestly, it's done such a great job. I absolutely love it. Now let's just say on the left hand side that I want to take this exact website and turn it into dark mode. Okay, so on the left, I added the prompt saying, turn this website into dark mode. Obviously that is a very simplified version of the prompt. And what I recommend you to do is be way more specific, like mention what kind of colors and hues and tones and mention the type of typography that you want to use. Here on the left, you can see it's thinking for 13 seconds. It says, I'll add dark mode support by updating the CSS variables in the index to include dark mode variants. Now it's adding dark mode toggle to the layout, meaning that you will be able to switch between light and dark mode on this website, which is super cool because I know some people prefer light mode and some people prefer dark mode. So here they've created a dark mode. I like it, but it's very hard to read. So let's give it a little bit more feedback. The cool thing about it is, you know, it switches between light to dark mode. Let's give it some more feedback. Very hard to read. Please make it more aesthetic and use better colors and gradients and neon hues. Make it look modern, futuristic, and cutting edge. Add some animations. Okay, scent. Let's see. Now lovable on the left is thinking, 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 thinking. I'll enhance the dark mode design with better readability, neon colors, gradients, and futuristic animations. So as you can see, it's listening to exactly what my set of my prompts and it's gonna implement that. Honestly, you don't have to be a prompt engineer to get brilliant results, whether you're creating a website, an app, a landing page. You can see that I'm speaking in like the most simple, basic English, like a fucking five-year-old could do this. But once you get into prompt engineering and really refining your prompts, you will realize that the 
output is significantly better. I also believe that in a world where everything is AI generated, from the arts to chat GPT to websites to softwares, the people who become really good at prompting, those are the ones that are gonna stand out because everyone else's stuff is gonna look so generic, it's all gonna look the same. And so the better you get at prompting, the more specific you are in the directions, the more creative you are in your approach, the more you'll be able to stand out in a world that is completely AI generated. There's no way in a million years that I could have done this myself at all. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And so while we wait, I have a drink that I've never tried before. It's a orange juice, tonic and espresso. I know it sounds absolutely disgusting, but it's really refreshing. Thank you so much. If you're the kind of person who likes dark chocolate orange, which I love, this tastes exactly like that. I don't know what's happening here. Let's go back. On the left hand side, you'll see that it says build unsuccessful. It also gives you this little button that says try to fix. So I click try to fix. It says for the code present, I get the error below. Please think step by step to resolve it. And now Lovable is going to go and resolve the errors in the code. Look, it says I can see the issue. There's a complex tailwind. I have no idea what any of this means. I found the issue. It was on line 308. See, it's literally conversing with itself to resolve the problems. This is so freaking cool. Perfect, I fixed the CSS error by replacing blah, 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 blah. And so you can see that it's literally sharing the entire process with you. Again, I would never have been able to do this. Try to fix. And this is a live version of what it is in. As you can see, it's not exactly done yet. It says the build should now work perfectly. The futuristic dark mode design with all the aesthetics should be fully functional. So I'm gonna click publish over here. And now let's preview it. And this is our preview. You can see all the buttons are glowing. It has animations that are glowing. It switches between light and dark mode, which is really cool. Obviously I'm on the free plan right now and if I did pay for it, there's a lot more I could do with it, but it's just so crazy to see like how I was able to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that this was not the best tutorial on Lovable out there, but I just wanted to show you what is possible and I hope you give it a try for yourself and let me know what you end up creating in the comments and I'll be sure to drop a course on how to do way better prompts engineering using Lovable on my platform, geteducated.ai. So be sure to sign up, join the waitlist, and send me a message. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Much love and happy vibe coding.